Right, welcome back everybody. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. Uh, gonna do it after the little disaster with the uh, three pointed bowl, three cornered bowl the other day. Uh, well, should have used a better bit of wood, I suppose. But I'm gonna have another go today with a silly bit of wood. I've got a bit of silver birch here, okay. There's a tree at the back of me that's, that's gone down and I pulled a couple. I was going to do a deep hollowing one, but, but that piece has cracked to pieces. So I'm just going to stick this on. It's not going to be a live, uh, a natural edge bowl because the silver birch, the bark, it comes off. It's, it's more like paper, the bark on it. But I'm just going to pop it on between centers, get it roughed down, see what I can get out of it, see if we can get a little bowl. Just see what we can do with a couple of chisels. As I've said before, if you're new to turning, a lot of you will be the same. You just get pieces of wood you want to have a play with, don't you? You want to have a practice with. Um, it's not because I'm tight and I don't want to buy wood. I lost, I've recently, I have said before, I recently moved to this, this place and uh, this is my new workshop here and then I've got my work premises as well. Um, but I lost a hell of a lot of my wood during the move, so for certain reasons, but anyway, enough of that. Let's get on and we'll just have a go with this and see what we can do with cardboard chisels. I want to see if I can get a bowl out of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera around. You zoomed in a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And so let's get you zoomed in on the lathe here. Right, I think that should be all right. Now, I've already Got a mark where I think the centre is, and I've put my big step centre, bit my middle size step centre on, just so I get a bit better hold. I just want it through there because then if it wants to slip, it can. Lock that there, wind that in a bit so I get a bit of room. Right, just got a standard point on this one. Right, okay, might have to take you out a little bit, you might be a little bit too close there. Yeah, we'll get you there. Okay, right now. I'm tighten it up. I'm just going to be between centers first off. I'll get a tenon put on this end and then I'll spin it around for when I'm doing the hollowing. So everything's locked off. Bring the tool rest around. Get this positioned. Right, I'm hoping you can see there. I've got a feeling that tool rest is going to be in the way, isn't it? There. I think my uh, right, okay, I might have to adjust the camera a little bit. I think I'm going to have to adjust you a little bit here. So let's bring you up so you can be <sighs> getting this over. Right, okay. I'm going to tighten that off up there. See how that goes. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. I think you'll get a better a better view from there. Okay. Right, everyone see all right? Good, okay then. Let's go with that. Right, so I'm going to turn the speed down on my lathe because I say, odd shaped bit of wood, don't know what it's going to do. If it's going to fly off, then I'll be standing out of the way. Right, face shield on, as always, don't turn without one. Right, let's see what this does. Let's get it started anyway, start it moving. Right, well, that's not too bad, where are we? Right, I've got a bit of wobble there, a bit of vibration. I'm going to go past it. Where am I at? Mm, I'm at around 1500 there. I'll start with that and see how it goes. Right. We're going to use the 12 mil, 12 mil round. Still got the same cut that I was using the other day. I'm going to roll the tool over and just come in very gently here. So if you go pushing in, that's when you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know where, whether you're going to get a catch or whatever. You roll your tool over, you put it straight. So you look, it's very fast and gentle. Zip up, I don't want bits going down my top. So 
try and make this a fairly quickish turn in today. Gently bring that tool rest round, just, just there. Always keep the tool rest close as you can. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, of course, I've got bits of bark flapping around here. Right, it's alright, we're getting a shake. Bit rough at the moment, but I'm not worrying about that. And it's looking alright. Get that tool rest around a little bit more. As long as it's not catching. Yep, I like to be as close as I can all the time. Alright. Can we get the speed up a little bit? Oh, that's better. Um, yeah, that's better. side a little bit. Let's see. See if uh, that might be a bit better for you. I don't know. Did you have what you're seeing here? Right, I've got my, my tool handle down. Tool rolled over 45 degrees and I'm coming in here. And right, I'm cutting above centre, probably about half an inch above centre. Thinks you've got to use carbide like this. Nah, handle down. I can go back and forward with it. Get a bit of a back cut there as well. position. Right, you might be better about there for now. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to come in front of you for a sec. Right, okay. Let's turn the screen around so I can see what's happening. Yeah, okay. Right, we've got a lovely finish here. I'm going to keep coming around. I'll be looking to put a tenon on this bottom in a bit. I just want to get round to the top of this and see what's here. So, all's going well. Oh, that's a bit. So, I'll put the tool rest that side of my handle so that I can uh, drop the tool. And like I said, I've got the tool down. You can see. See where centre is? You see how much above centre I am? I'm cutting up here. Like this, I mean, round here. Like oh, you can see, look, I'm actually cutting. Right, let's get it down again. Stand out of the way, so I'm restarting it. Not that I've touched anything, but you don't know. Backwards and forwards. If I come in flat like this, I remove a lot of wood quick 
but I'll leave a terrible thing on it, it'll be very rough. when you, you want to be flat with it and scrape because some woods do especially very hard woods sometimes they do perform a bit better like that as you know every bit of wood is different no two bits of wood are the same they're all different I'm not fixing on a shape at the moment, but I don't know, I don't know what shape I want with this. Let's have another look. Right, I don't know what actual shape I want to go, but I'm getting up to this top. There's a bit of rubbish wood here at the top, so that's got to go. We've got to get rid of that. So I'm going to keep going. It looks like it's going to be quite a nice piece of wood, actually. Yeah. Should be all right. Right, let's get the tool again. Tool rest in. Always keep your tool rest nice and close. Right. Nice and close. That saves... If there's no room for your tool to catch, you can't catch. Not that I can get a catch anyway. Not the way I'm, I'm using my tool. So, if I say that, I'll probably get a catch now. Nah, I can't get a catch when you're working like this. Get rid of the top end there. Gonna have to bring it in a little bit for that top end because that's uh, a bit of rotten wood on the top. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to have a quick go with a uh, with a square chisel for that. Just to get me tenon. Tenon there, okay. All I'm gonna do just gonna put very, very little bit of a, a dovetail there, very little bit. I really don't need a lot, it just gives it a little bit more of a, a grip, being it's a being it's sort of a natural edge type thing. A little stump ain't going to bother me because that's going to be through the hole of the jaws. Okay? So now I can see roughly where I am. Bring this down quite a bit. I'm a lot smaller facing what I've got there. But not too small. Right. As you can see, I'm getting nice little, little ribbons here. I'm, I'm coming off and getting some nice, uh, I'm getting a cleaner cut now because this I'm getting ready for this to be the finished shape. So here yeah, I'm coming in nice and light. I've got my tool handle down. Okay, I'm cutting. I'm literally you can see where center is there. Okay, I hope you can see that center. And I am probably half an inch above center. So half an inch to three quarters of an inch. 
Okay, I'm coming in. I'm on the tip. I'm at 45 degrees. This is pointing straight up. And these are the wisps I'm getting. Okay, you should be getting nice little wisps like this. Right, so I'm coming back in. Oh, and I'm, I'm using the, the bar is my bevel. Remember, I always say the bar on my tools is the bevel. Right, now what I'm wanting to do is, that's nice and swell. I'm cleaning this bit up. I'm not worried about this top bit of mud because I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening there. I'm going to bring the tool rest around because the, the actual top of the bowl is right up here. And I think I'm going to have to lose some of that because there's a bit of rock there. Let me look. See what we've got. Yeah, there's a bit of, uh, see the, the very edges of this is all sort of broken away there. Oh, lovely clean finish, lovely clean finish here. But this tip, um, I'm going to have to sort of come down a bit on this bowl. I'm not going to be able to keep this, this top bit here. There's, there's broken bits off the top. But we'll see how we go. Some lovely spalting on this. That's going to look really nice, that is. So really nice with a finish. I'm going to have to finish this bowl, I think. I don't always finish my, my bowls, but I'm going to finish this one. And it's going to be very pretty. Give you a, a really clean cut with the carbide tool, see? So 
coming in. You can see you can hardly hear the tool cutting now. Right, now let's have a look. Right, now let's clean that up now. That's the difference, see? That's the difference when you get that speed up, you get that, that sort of finish. A lot better finish, okay? Now, I'll be clean. So I'm not going to have a square finish on the bottom of that bar, but I'm going to get a little bit of sanding done on it. So you're even going to see me sanding today. How's that? Shall we? Right, okay. So, so I've just got to come around you so I can get my sanding. This. sanding discs here. So I'm going to have these over here and I'm going to be starting on here with a 180. we we'll start 180 grit. Okay that's out of the way. I'm going to take the speed back down a little bit on the lathe. Alright okay so 180 grit. Uh, I suppose I should put my dust extractor on as well. Oh. Sorry, be a little bit of noise. Too slow for me. Two four E. The two four grip.
want to sweep away. The 320. So I'll go up to four runs and I don't think I'm going to go much above that. Now I'm going to get a bit of paste on there. My sand in paste. Another bit of this on. this edge here obviously because I've got wings but let's uh let's see let's get a bit of this rug in yeah that's all right it's not too bad I can put up that see where it's working in Go. I'm going to 
to an end. Wax 22 on. Right. 